Denton Community Television, operated by the Mayborn School of Journalism, the University of North Texas. Hi, I'm Robert Jeffress, pastor of the First Baptist Church in Dallas and Bible teacher on Pathway to Victory. I hope you will take time to tune in with Teresa. Time with Teresa right here on this station. Brighten your day by watching the Time with Teresa television show. Whether in the studio or on location, Teresa Westbrook and guests will warm your heart and encourage your soul. And now, your host, Teresa Westbrook. Welcome to the program. I'm Teresa Westbrook, and I'm delighted you've joined us. I am super excited to have songwriter, singer, and minister, Mary Faye Jackson, with us in the studio. Oh. Mary's also the host of the award-winning television program called Texas Country Gospel. My gifted and talented friend has won, won many awards and most recently was honored with a doctorate in music and humanities. We're going to find out all about that a little <laughs> later, but right now, please help me welcome Dr. Mary Faye Jackson. <laughs> oh, I love that, Teresa. Wow, that's quite an introduction. <laughs> Well, you got quite a resume there, oh, so we had well, to work you. work that in, and thank it's you. such a delight to have you with us today. And uh, now, Mary, you're always on the road singing and ministering and promoting family-friendly oh, yes. entertainment. Right. Uh, tell our viewers, how are you managing such a busy schedule? Well, I need a clone. <laughs> <laughs> I need two of me. But uh, no, I enjoy, uh, I love my job. I love working mm -hmm. for the Lord, mm -hmm. and I love doing promoting and music videos and television, radio, uh, just wherever the Lord opens the doors. But I can tell as, you know, the years are, are creeping up <laughs> that I may not be going as much as I've been going in the past, but I don't know. I've got a pretty full schedule. Yes, you do. And uh, I, Mary Faye's one of my friends, and we have another friend that's not with us today, that's Kay. Right. <laughs> we call Mary Faye the baby because we're all just months apart, <laughs> but she's the baby of us. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of funny because I'm the oldest of nine children, so I kind of like being the you baby like of being our little the baby. Sure. Of our Sure. Bestie girlfriends. And, uh, well, let me tell you, Marilyn Hickey says that she's busier in her 80s, Mary, than she really? was in her 40s. So wow. let that be an encouragement word oh, yeah. for, for yeah. you today with your schedule. Well, you too. You <laughs> stay very busy. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but I'm feeling it too. But uh, Well, now, Mary, I have personally seen a cabinet in your home filled with all of these awards. Yes. How does that make you feel when you wow. look back and reflect over that? Well, it is an encouragement. Um, now, the big uh, curio cabinet, I guess you'd call it, uh, that's full of awards, they're not all mine. They're my family, one Accord. We've won group of the year, trio of the year, television program of the year. So, but a lot of the awards are mine and I'm very honored to have received and, and achieved so many different, um, just things that encourage me. You know, I can mm -hmm. look back and say, well, there's where I got songwriter of the year, uh -huh. or there's where I got promoter of the year, or TV show of the year. So if you get down, you can always go look at those and oh, yes. uh, just and reflect. And how many years span is that? We started a Texas Country Gospel in 1995. So we're actually in our 23rd season. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, and uh, that is amazing with all those awards, but you know what? You were recently honored with another very special yes. award, a doctorate in music and humanities. Now tell us about that. Well, I was very um, surprised to get, uh, especially the Doctor of Humanitarians. Um, I knew about the doctorate of music because they had already let me know about that one. Then they, they surprised me with the second one. But it was Emmanuel Baptist Church out of North Carolina. It was actually their college, Emmanuel Baptist College. And uh, they were longtime friends of our family and they had done that for my dad and for Marcus Lamb on Daystar mm -hmm. several years ago. Uh -huh. And then they called and uh, wanted to do that for myself. and. 
I was just so honored. I, I, I couldn't help but just cry. It was a good feeling. Well, I think that's awesome because you have been faithful all these years oh, to music and yeah. ministry and media. So I think that's awesome and well deserved for you. Thank so congratulations you. on that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, now, Mary, how many songs have you written to date? Do you know? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'd say around maybe 50. Okay. I'm not like my sister Carla that's written 800 and <laughs> oh, wow. my Aunt Connie that's written over 100. Um, I've just, uh, it, sometimes it takes me a while, like mm -hmm. the last song took me five years to finish. But oh. then I've had others that just come right to me. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so uh, kind of explain a little bit about your process. Uh, when, you, when you get something, you know, I interviewed Connie Perry, and she says from her brokenness, a lot of right. times the Lord will give her a song. So how, do, how does yours come? Do you just get a thought or what? A lot of exper life experiences, uh, issues that are happening right now. Uh, you know, like roses, it came through a lot of, of pain mm -hmm. and brokenness mm -hmm. and rejection. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, you can get inspired by a sermon or maybe uh, a billboard or mm -hmm. a bumper sticker. They're just different things. <laughs> I said, well, that, that sounds like a good hook line for a song. Uh -huh. So you never know. You just never know. Yeah. It's, it's all around you, though. It is. Inspiration is all around you. It is. Well, why don't you tell us about the inspiration about the song we're about to roll in that you've written called No One Compares to You. Oh, okay. Well, I was actually uh, over at my Aunt Connie's house, and she, I went to her piano one day, and, and, and when she prays, my Aunt Connie Perry, a lot of times she'll say, Lord, no one compares to you. And I just started sitting down at the piano and I just started singing it to the Lord. Uh -huh. It's kind of a praise and worship song. So that's how it came. It was, and also people have let me down. Circumstances mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. let us down, but He never changes. Yes. And so that's where I just felt like the Lord just dropped that into my spirit. Yes. So I hope it blesses our viewers today. Yes, awesome. And I love that we've got that documented now, how that song came about. Yes. Because uh, as I talked with Connie Perry on another interview, uh -huh. legacy, these songs are legacies. Yes. And you've, you're building a legacy, Mary Faye, for other people. So You need to watch what you say around me because I might write a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, enjoy as Mary Faye sings, oh, No thank One you. Compares to You. Amen. No one compares to you, Lord. No one compares to you. No matter what we say and no matter what we do, no one compares to you. You're omnipotent. You're everywhere. You're incredible, you feel the air. You're so merciful, forgiving too. You're our loving God, and we worship you. No one compares to you, Lord.
Well, that certainly is true. Nobody compares oh, yes. to the Lord, thank Mary. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for writing that and sharing that with oh, us. It's beautiful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Well, now, Mary Fay, uh, you know, we've served the Lord many years. We've we had have. many ups and downs and uh, disappointments and victories. And mm -hmm. uh, we've made wrong choices. We've made oh, bad yeah. decisions. And then we've made good choices oh, yeah. and good decisions. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering, has your walk through the years and influenced you to write this next song we're going to share with the viewers called If I Fall? <laughs> yes, uh, that song, of course, is minister to a lot of people. I've had five people record it, but it's uh, it's a kind of an encouragement to me because we were brought up like in a very strict church, which I'm thankful for. But a lot of times if you made a mistake, you know, you just felt like you were backslid. There was no mm -hmm. hope for you. Mm -hmm. And this is just encouraging you to repent, dust yourself off, keep going. Yes. Don't let stuff get you down. And yes, I, if I could re push that rewind button and go back, <laughs> I would change a lot of things, but I can't. Right. So, but we can, it's a new day and we can repent, you know, turn away from whatever got us down or just ask the Lord to, to help us back up. And, uh, and he will, yes, that's the he good will. thing. He, he won't leave you down. He won't mm -hmm. kick you when you're down. Right. And so, uh, I, it, it ministers to me yes. and I hope that, that it'll minister to, to the viewers today too. I'm sure it will. Enjoy If I Fall by Mary Faye Jackson. Thank you. Amen. Put your hands together and help me out today. I've been traveling on this journey most of my life. It's not always pleasant and I haven't yet arrived. And no, I'm not perfect, though I'm striving to be. If I know my Lord, He won't give up on me. Can I get a big amen? Cause if I fall, I'll get back up again. I've made up my mind, I'm gonna win. Cause God knows my heart and where I am with Him. So if I fall, I'll get back up again. I believe it says in one place, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. Cause if I fall, I shall rise again. Now they say it's hard to stumble when you're down on your knees. But that's when I'm close to heaven, my spirit gets set free. So if I have to crawl all the way to the cross, just one drop of his blood will cover me. I'm gonna win. God knows my heart and where I am with Him. So if I fall, I'll get back up again. Sing it with me now. Oh, if I fall, I'll get back up again. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna win. my heart and where I am with Him. So if I fall, I'll get back up again. You can make it today. I've made up my mind I'm gonna win. If I fall, I'll get back up again. Thank you. 
Wonderful, Mary. I love that Thank song. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, we've served the Lord many years, and, uh, and at this age, as mm -hmm. seniors, we look back, yeah. and we can see how we've grown, and <laughs> oh, so thankful yes, that yes, we got back yes, up. Yes. And Mary, when we become 100 years old, senior, senior <laughs> citizens, <laughs> we'll oh, look Lord. back at today, <laughs> and yeah. at 100, we'll say how much we've grown in the Lord That's since right. then. So well, you never quit growing in the Lord. And time is swiftly passing by. Now, my yes. little great-grandmother did live to be almost 105. Oh, wow. Two weeks, she would have been 105. Wow. But, you know, I really feel like the Lord is coming before we'll get that old. Yeah. Well, that's not much <laughs> He's longer. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that's not much longer. Okay. Uh, well, um, thank the Lord for forgiveness and grace in our lives. Praise amen. God. Amen. Amen. He's a good God. He's the God of second chances, third chances. You know, there may be somebody listening that feels like they've, they've been divorced and maybe there's no hope for them or that they've made a mistake, but uh, talk to God. <laughs> Make it right with Him. Amen? Amen. Well, speaking of that, you have been divorced now how many years? Oh, let's don't go there. <laughs> I think it's about 20 years. About 20 yeah. years. And I'm sure there's been times that it's gotten you down but the Lord did something special and gave you a beautiful song surrounding right. that, correct? Yes, uh, right after, during my divorce, uh, it was about Valentine's time, oh. uh, Day, and I was over at my sister's house, and she had a beautiful bouquet of pink roses, a beautiful home, her husband, two sons, everybody, you know, life was just going great for her, I thought, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I felt sorry for myself. I left there, and there was a florist at a four-way stop there in Gainesville, Texas, where I live, and, and there was red, red roses all in the window, and there was lace, and there was lights on those roses. And I said, Lord, I don't have a man to bring me roses. But I said, I know the man who made the roses. And when I said that, I began to, to cry. Aww. So eight weeks, eight blocks to my house, I had written that chorus. I've got eight a man. Blocks. Eight wow. blocks. Wow. And I left my car door open, ran in the house, and started writing it down, because if you don't write it down, you'll forget <laughs> it. I will. And so, uh, at first, I thought that song was just for me, but it's been sung at weddings, funerals, anniversaries, birthdays, uh, because he is the man that brings us gifts every day. Yes. And it, it's talking about Jesus. The first verse, you think that you're talking about your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever, uh, but it's actually talking about the Lord. And uh, I've had roses brought to me. I've had <laughs> rose boots, rose dresses, rose purses. Uh, people are always giving me, even rose oil. A couple oh. gave me rose oil at one of my services that I was singing at. So uh, you never know, but there are, there is power in yes. songs. Yes, there and, is. Um, so it's it's been a great song for me. It's probably been my signature song. Mm -hmm. So uh, I love it. I, I just, I love singing it. And you know, every time I sing it, it seems like somebody will say, did you write that song? They just can't believe I wrote that. <laughs> I started saying, he wrote it. I just, I'm just the pen of a ready writer. Yeah, yeah. But. Well, let's share that with the viewers right now. Enjoy Mary Faye's song. Oh, thank you. Roses. Thank you. I've got a man that brings me roses every day. He's never too busy or very far away, and I can call on him at midnight, noon or break of day. I've got a man that brings me roses every day. none to compare of all the flowers God's created the sweetest fragrance in the air and it adds so much beauty color and array I've got a man that brings me roses every day
every day He's never too busy Or very far away And I can call on him at midnight Noon or break of day I've got a man that brings me roses every day. Now when I get to heaven, I'll bow before his grace. And I'll meet my Prince Jesus Then face to face I'll thank him for his love And for brightening up my days I'll meet the man that brought me roses Every day I've got a man that brings Roses every day. He's never too busy or very far away. And I can call on him at midnight, noon, or break of day. I've got a man that brings. Every day I know the man that brings me roses I love that man that brings me roses I've got a man that brings me roses Every day I just love that song, Mary Faith. Thanks for well, thank writing you. that. That's thank beautiful you. and very God inspired. And I know it ministered to our viewers, especially oh, so. <laughs> especially those who are maybe lost a spouse or going through divorce right, or right. separated or whatever, or looking for a mate, even right. looking for a mate, yeah. you know, so can minister to a lot of people. But now I personally witnessed one of the greatest things, I think, during your performance of Roses, oh. there was a celebration over yes. in Gainesville we were having, and That's something right. special happened that night. So I want you to tell the viewers about you and your son being estranged and right. what God did through all that. Well, um, we had a Texas Country Gospel reunion, and there was probably three or 400 people there in the, the big state theater there. and. Uh, precious couple friends of mine, and they, they were probably the first ones that ever heard Roses. I, I sang it to them before I uh, ever released it or wrote it, you know, finished it. But they had sent me a dozen roses that night, and it just it just said, it didn't even have their name on it, but I knew it was from them because mm -hmm. they were good about bringing me roses. Doyle and Rosie Cumby from this area. And so uh, my son, which was there, uh, it's kind of a long story, but after our divorce, uh, my son chose to go with his dad, and we were estranged for 14 years. Mm -hmm. 14 years, I didn't know if my son was alive. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where he was at. Nobody, the, the, the sides of the family, he, he, he got away from the family, he got away from the church, his friends, he wouldn't communicate with anyone. And it was hard. It's probably one of the hardest trials I've ever yeah. had in my life. Mm -hmm. But prayers and God, but God, mm -hmm. and all the prayers of my aunts and my uncles and cousins and my family, my parents, we never gave up on Jeremy. Well, two days prior to the concert, he came back in my life. Awesome. And it was to the point where he had to have his mama. He needed help. And sometimes things have to be, they have to go to the lowest part. Mm -hmm. And he actually, it's a, kind of a long story there, but he could have gone to prison, but it, it by God. Thank you, Lord. And it was, 
actually the truth came out mm -hmm. and he wasn't guilty like they mm -hmm. said he was. The truth came out. Thank goodness somebody was doing some videoing. Mm -hmm. And uh, But he, he had come back in my life and that night he knew I was going to sing that song. And he went and got those roses and he came around behind the stage where I could not see him. If I'd seen him coming up there, I would have known. But he come around behind the stage just as I finished Roses and handed me and hugged me in front of the crowd. And of course you were there mm -hmm. and people just began to start weeping. The band yes. started playing the song over. And um, yes, fact, because we, a lot of your friends were in the audience and we knew the story yes, yes, yes. and knew that there was a miracle happening right. and a restoration happening. It was beautiful. It was. And he's back in my life now. He's reading the Bible. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's had a, such a turnaround. And so we're trying to make up for lost time. Sometimes yeah. we'll talk on the phone for an hour <laughs> at a time. And, um, so only God could do that, Teresa. Mm -hmm. And it took years. And like I said, if I could rewind and for fast forward, I, I would have changed things. But uh, I can't change people. You know, I can't change, but there's like the serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, just grant me. Mm -hmm. the, you know, we got to have the wisdom and, and the know and the courage. Mm -hmm. It all goes together. But I never gave up on him. Mm -hmm. And there's times that, that I thought, oh, my goodness, you know. Mm -hmm. So we may be having parents watch yes. today that, yes. that have a child. But I want to tell you, as long as there's life, there's hope. Mm -hmm. And... I love the scripture, Teresa. You and I can relate to this. It says, bring up a child in the way he should yes. go. And when he's older, he won't depart. Now, we've got to speak that over our children. Yes, yes. We speak it over the grandchildren, the nieces, the nephews. Somebody may be watching right now that maybe they Jesus. feel like there's no hope. Maybe you've got a child in prison or on drugs or just, just messed up. But we just call them back home right now. Yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because if they fall, they can get back up. That's right. That's right. That's right. Beautiful, Mary. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming to be with us on the program. Thank and you. We'll have your contact information up where people can get in touch with you. Awesome. They might want to have you come minister. They might want you to come and sing. Oh, yes. Or they I'm might ready. want to be a guest <laughs> on your program, too, your award-winning right. program. That's so, right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, let's not give up on our children. Keep loving them and Amen. covering them in prayer, no matter what is going on in their lives. Yes. Mary and I stand together in agreement with you for things to turn around for the better yes. in all of your families. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the Timeless Teresa Television Show. For guest and sponsorship opportunities, contact Teresa today. Denton Community Television, operated by the Mayborn School of Journalism, the University of North Texas.